Hi there. I'm going to show you something. Wait there. Hello, Mel. Hello, Sarah. Hello, Wendy. I think we've just done a refund for you. Um, that is because Wendy was given the calendar and diary. Good morning, Louise. So I'm just having a quick catch up on my emails. Um, hello, Stephen. And no, there's not much snow here. We're having snow showers and there is snow lying on the north sides of, um, of the hills. It's quite dramatic and there's a bit of snow up here. But not lying. Hello, Emma. How are you? Annaline, did you get my message about getting a quote to send you something? Um, incidentally, I, I was wondering whether you might have had an address on a website. And I was looking at your gorgeous paintings um, on many of the websites that carry your work. It's just beautiful. I love the colour. Hello, Jane. Um, Yeah, one of the things which we're working on at the moment, when I say we, I mean my amazing designer, David Taylor, um, is another oil cloth design. Because this is the, this is the uh, oil cloth, which is on like natural cotton and it's um, PVC coated so you can wipe it and stuff. So I had this one design, which is really basically the hound's gift wrap. So that made it sort of simpler. I just knew that the Hound's gift wrap design would work. Hello, Margaret. Hello, Pauline. Yeah, I knew it would work as, a, as an oil cloth. So um, anyway, I'm looking to maybe have another design, one or two, to introduce for Christmas 2021. And I know it seems very early, but I've ordered some more of this. And the, the guy who uh, gets it, who prints it and then who handles the coating of it, said this would be a good time to sample um, sample some other designs. And then he said yours is going to print next week. So I, no pressure. So what do you think about, what would you think would be um, like a really, a really lovely, you know, thing to have on a uh, sheep, Margaret. That is very much one of the ideas I've got. Do sheeps. You see, Margaret's got the idea already. So um, chuck them at me, ideas. Um, obviously, what's quite easy is to translate a gift wrap straight into an oilcloth and just resize it. Hi, hello, Anstis, uh, and hello, Joanne. So, yeah, um, I've got David. I've given him a few um a few images and suggestions and he'll be working on them hairs yep irene i've got uh thing is i'm not really that keen on copying something anybody else does i'm not interested in what other people do i like things to be very much hello david tolson hello Flowers, perhaps. Yeah, I was thinking flowers, but then, yeah, chickens. Yeah, I, we're working on a chicken one, a sheep one, a hare one. Um, cattle. Hmm, Ansys. Ducks, yes. Yeah, I've, he's, got, um, he's got a duck one, a sheep, a cockerel, some hares. Yeah, yeah, ducks, but Stephen done that. So what I'll do is when um, David's roughed up a few ideas, I'll maybe pop them into the Lockdown Gang Facebook group and you can just give me your feedback. It has to be not too busy and colourful so it blends into any home. Thank you, Margaret Wood. Yes, I mean, this is quite busy. But you're right, I think maybe... Um, 
subdued colours, but I'm a little bit wary of a white background because that'll show up all the marmalade and things that you drop onto a and ketchup that you drop onto a table. Um, I'm not a designer. This just isn't my thing, but I have. It's like people say, oh, I like your designs. I, they're not their paintings that translate into something else. Ducks. I like sheep, but there seems to be a lot of sheep things. Hmm. Oh, somebody sent me a message. Right, I'm just going to put that down again. Oh, we have 22 people watching. Fiona Browell. Fiona, you'd be very good at this. Yes, so if you were getting an oil cloth for your table, what sort of colour, what sort of creature or flower around up? <laughs> Hello, Elaine. And how is Pete? Hello, Karen. Lambs. <laughs> Lammies, little bouncy lambs. Um, hmm, don't know about that. Very interesting. Anyway, I was in my uh, paint, my uh, my drawer that I keep all my paper in, and I thought, well, I'm never going to use this. I think I bought this paper, which is um, incredibly thick. Look, boing. <laughs> naughty Heather. No, um, it's incredibly thick. I would say it's probably like four or five hundred GSM and it's got a bit of a surface. And I remember trying to paint on it quite a few years ago and it was just like so hard. So anyway, I've slashed the sheet up into a few pieces and I'm going to put them over there. And if there's time later on, I thought it might be quite nice to start another cockerel one, a little bit like the one that I did that was then used for the handkerchiefs and the handkerchiefs. Right, so the things we're working on at the moment, for those of you who are new to this, we've got a little duck. This is like a really, really simple example of how to just do one wash, let it dry, do the next wash, let it dry, and then the next one. Uh, just needs a few more things doing to it. And I had an idea of maybe having some, like, um, <laughs> foliage uh, here so we do that also done this rather fun bouncy along hound one and it needs eyes and a few other things doing to it and I'm also wondering about maybe having this like bursting out of some undergrowth floor washing crikey and then yesterday started another hound a really, really basic pale wash, but you know, that's plenty. Um, and I'm looking at it there and quite excited about going on to the next stage. I also thought I'd start a pheasant painting because I was watching some pheasants the other day and was reminded of the fabulous colour and everything. And this is sort of pheasanty, sneaking around time. So um, that is the start. I started the eye. And the sort of wattly bits. Hello Karen, hello Anne. Um, so there's plenty to be going on with. Oh and there's that. Which still needs loads of doing to it. Right. First, okay I'll tip, tip me forward. Half like Percy. Hmm, don't know about that. Now I can't see. Oh, yeah, that's good. You can see it all. Right. I had to uh, break into my own stocks and get myself a new brush with a nice point on because my brushes don't have nice points. I abuse them. Okay.
So that's about where the eye would go, I think. Remember, all ducks smile. So you've probably noticed that I haven't mentioned the topic that seems to be on everybody's lips today. And I'm not going to either. There's been plenty said about all that. So I'm just... Um, doing little hoops. To hint at the uh, the webbed, like the, the structure of the duck's leg. Okay, we've got all our chickens locked up at the moment because of the avian flu thing that's going on, as if coronavirus wasn't enough. Can you see? Yeah. Um, oh, I wasn't going to mention that, was I? All right, I'm going to try and mix up quite a nice sort of green. I'm going to have some darker leaves, almost making a bit of a canopy here. Actually, what I need... No, I'll just go straight ahead into it. Um... So this is the Ludlow green. It's rather nice. And I'll mix it. Whether you can see, I'm just picking up a bit of the a bit of the sort of spilt paint off and putting it like it wants to be bluer than that. Yeah, that'll do. So I'm sort of thinking uh, Just like a simple twist of the brush, which really does sort of convey the idea of a leaf, or you could um, make it look as though it's got the vein up the middle. Oh, 
just rather like the idea of a bit of um, layering in the background. It's a bit like a mosaic, really. Uh, I wonder if that's dry. Okay, I might just leave that for now, put that to one side. And move on to this one. Now I've got a nice new brush. Uh, I can I can do a bit of sort of more detailed work on parts of it. Just make sure. See what's being said. I've tried and tried to do that. Can't find it in anyone's real eyes though. Don't mention that topic. <laughs> you no, know, Alison and Steph and Jean and no, we're not mentioning it. Watching at the opticians. Okay, right, tip you up. Oh, the leaves, the leaves, yes. Right. Um, let me just get you a tiny bit more this way. Don't you just love nostrils? It's a good word as well, nostril.
works quite well. Getting there. Make sure you can see. Sorry, I'll just tip a little bit more like that. Yeah, I think that's getting there. Just reading what Margaret said, apparently he calls all the ewes, or as they call them around here, yows, that's the lady sheep, calls them all Betty. <laughs> are hounds in a pack given individual names? Yes, they are. Uh, a litter of hounds will all start with the same letter of the alphabet. So they would start, say, I, I don't know when it would begin, but um, the first litter that the, the, the pups would all 
have a name that began with A, you know, like Adrian and Alan. And then the next ones would be, um, the next litter would, they would all begin with, um, you know, so the letter B. So there'd be something like, um, you know, Bouncer, Blandishment, quite unusual name to give hounds. Um, so yeah, that's the answer to that. Your leafy star background would make a lovely oil cloth. Hmm. Do you know what? Let's do a leafy background for this hound. Get a nice big brush and do something dramatic. Um, I find a nice big brush. Oh, those colours look nice. Okay, that was fun. Obviously, this is just the beginning of the background, but I can't see the left hand very well. It's a really good, um, like this colour works really well with this sort of background here, doesn't it? Well, I think it does anyway. And this is an opportunity to also change the shape if you want to a little bit. That's quite fun. I love these colours together.
I'm just putting a bit of a darker blue in the background. I'm not exactly sure where it'll go next, but that doesn't really matter. And then I'm also very, very tempted to put a much sort of introduce a much warmer colour in the foreground a bit like I said the other day about like warm colours and cool colours. And these can all be moved around at this stage. I'm just gonna get my small brush. a bit. Okay, quite nice, quite dramatic. Um, so yeah, it's add, added a bit of drama and begin going to put it into a, a place. Obviously it still needs the tongue and the eyes. Ooh, where are we with the time? 12.35. Time thieves. Right, I think that we might just leave it there for today. Uh, has anybody got any questions about the painting or? No. Right, well, it's quite fun that, isn't it? I just love it, it's gorgeous, gorgeous things going on around here and also up here with the blue Ooh, I could have tipped it that way. and that'll be quite fun when that's bone dry tomorrow maybe just sort of building up building up um the background well it's been lovely spending time with you again i think i'll go and get myself some packet asparagus soup because it's that time isn't it <laughs> have a lovely day and um stay warm i've still got stacks of clothes on <laughs> and i know you're thinking that's the same thing i've been wearing yesterday and the day before and the day before but i just want to reassure you that i have changed my underwear okay right bye